this was at around one in the morning. So it was long enough and I was bored enough for me just to think, well, I'm just gonna take my shirt and trousers off and go and have a shower. So I did, I stripped down to my pants, which was the most aggressive act I could think of to do rather than raise my voice and say, would you mind leaving? I'm tired and I've been checked enough. Paul Joseph Watson with Infowars.com here at Bilderberg 2015 with the London Guardian's Charlie Skelton. Charlie, you got a friendly visit from the Austrian police last night. Tell us what happened. Yeah, I wouldn't file it under friendly, but it was a visit. Uh, I, I went through two checkpoints to get to my hotel. So this is two times showing my ID and being checked. And then uh, I arrived, parked my car, went to the hotel room, realized I'd forgotten my laptop, went back out to my car. And... Um, at which point I had to show my ID again. For the 50th time. Yeah. Uh, and I said, well, I don't know what I've done in the last like five minutes between the last two checkpoints in here. But no, that wasn't enough. So they said, can you go and get your ID? So we ended up in my, back in my hotel room, me and three uh, uh, policemen and, uh, and Daniel. And um, we... Uh, so they were just there checking it for, for a long time, long enough for me. So 15 minutes or more. This was at around one in the morning. So it was long enough and I was bored enough for me just to think, well, I'm just going to take my shirt and trousers off and go and have a shower. So I did. I stripped down to my pants, which was the most aggressive act I could think of to do rather than raise my voice and say, would you mind leaving? I've, I'm tired and I've been checked enough. So, yeah, I stripped down, had a shower, came out in my towel and they said, uh, sir, we need you to get dressed. Uh, we need to check your vehicle again. So I go out to the vehicle. I dress first. Go out to the vehicle and, um, yeah, more, more checks, torches in the car. I said, look, honestly, I don't know what I've done in, in the woods, in the sort of hundred meters of woods between here and now, whether I picked up some kind of device or something. Anyway, no, they checked the car and checked me for another, for another while. And uh, I just got bored. So I was just standing there and I thought, well, I'm just going to tell them about the criminals who are in the in the conference, I mean, proper convicted criminals, as you know, like Petraeus and, you know. Um, and what was their reaction to that? To, to his credit, one of them started to get embarrassed when I talked about these, the Austrian real estate guy who's just been given a one-year suspended sentence for bribery. Uh, I think he's Rene Benko. Um, he's up there. So, uh, yeah, he got a little embarrassed at that point. And I was just going, look, I'm, you know, I don't mind you checking me a bit. But this is silly. This is harassment. This is one in the morning. And I've been standing here in a searchlight. There was a searchlight mounted on top of the van pointing at me. It was like a scene from Stalag 17 or something. It was just, and it was silly. Bilderberg 2015. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious in Austria. <laughs> The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize Realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.